This video is brought to you by Artlist. Hey everyone, so throughout the year I film a decent number of videos and every once in a while for whatever reason a few might not come to fruition. And me being the crafty genius that I am instead of letting those videos go to waste and never see the light of day, I thought it'd be fun to put a little compilation together of some recent videos that I've attempted to shoot but failed miserably at. So I'm gonna show you the photos from the videos and then some of the clips that I got from throughout the day and talk about a little bit, but yeah, these were the videos that never came to be. Hope you guys enjoy. The first failed video was from a day trip to Alicia's parents' house in the Puget Sound. Her dad ended up showing me how to ride a dirt bike and I spent the entire day on the damn thing. My second time on a dirt bike. I refuse to buy one though because knowing me, I'll likely severely injure myself within a week of owning it. I shot some 35mm Fuji Superior 400 through my Nikon F100 while Alicia and I were on the ferry. I haven't put a ton of rolls through the F100, but I've really enjoyed shooting the rolls I have put through it. The autofocus is great and I love the contrast and experience from shooting something like my Bronica SQ or the Pentax 6.7. I also love photo outings where I only bring one camera and one lens. It simplifies things. I had the 50mm Nikkor F1.8G with me for this set of images. Time spent out on the island was much needed. I felt like I was finally able to slow down for a moment and not feel guilty about it. When you bring yourself to a place that's only accessible by boat, it forces you to be content with what you have around you. For me, that was a camera, some quality people, and Todd the Bulldog. Can't complain about that. The next stop on this trio of failed videos is Lake Cushman. Alicia and I headed out to the base of the Olympic mountain range to visit a popular summer camping and hiking destination adjacent to the Olympic National Park. Sometimes there's days where the creative juices just aren't flowing and the motivation is non-existent. This was one of those days. When we pulled up, the weather wasn't exactly inviting cold and windy. Classic Washington. This definitely didn't remedy my lack of motivation. However, today I thought I'd try to muscle through. I'm usually a firm believer in not forcing creativity, but we drove all this way and I wanted to at least try to put something together. And nearly on cue with my newfound enthusiasm, my Blackmagic 6K decided to shit the bed. The camera wouldn't record for more than three seconds and the SSD kept losing connection with the USB port. First my 672, and now my black magic. This really is my month, isn't it? We recorded what we could, but decided to take this opportunity to put the video camera down and focus on finishing the rolls in each of our cameras. A roll of Ektar in the Pentax 67 for me, and a roll of Tri-X in the Bronica S2 for Alicia. I was having some fun taking a couple of shots on the 200mm lens for the Pentax 67. This was kindly gifted to me by a watcher of the channel named Dylan, so thank you Dylan for the hookup. That's crazy, looking through a lens this long on 6x7. The longest focal length I had previously shot on 6x7 was the 150mm on my Bronica GS1, which was definitely one of my favorite lenses. I'll be bringing this lens on some trips this summer and experimenting with some portraits on it as well. I must say though, the 55mm and some Ektar 100 is probably my favorite combo on the Pentax for landscapes. While I don't consider these shots to be anything noteworthy, I love the 55mm focal length on 6x7, and I love that punch that Ektar delivers.
Last and probably least, if I'm being honest, is a photo outing I had in Ruston for sunset back in March. This was the first truly nice and somewhat warm day we've had in Washington since last fall, so I was obviously feeling a bit spicy and wanted to try to weave a video together in the little time that was left in the day. You know those moments where you're out taking pictures and you think to yourself, man, this is going to be fire. I'm actually kind of killing it right now. And then you get your scans back and immediately want to throw yourself onto a set of train tracks. Yeah, that's exactly how I felt after looking at these pictures. And I'm not even saying that the pictures are that bad. I think they're okay, but the expectations I had for them were so ridiculously high. And I think this was just because of the nice weather and the beautiful light we had that evening. I was just in a bit of a utopian state, if you will, and believed anything and everything I made that night would be Pulitzer Prize material. But that clearly was not the case. And this takes me back to my whole MO when it comes to photography. Having the right intentions and zero expectations. The latter part of that statement was obviously a little skewed that evening, and that is totally okay. A nice ego check is healthy from time to time. I will say I think the black magic footage looks wonderful, so I'm pretty happy about that. But now I'm reminded that it's broken, and I'm sad again. However, there is some good news. It sounds like the limited one year warranty or whatever on the black magic is going to cover the repair so it's off getting fixed right now hopefully and in the meantime i'm using the trusty gh5 s which carried me through all of 2020 and the majority of 2021 i forgot how capable this camera is for its size and price point it's actually really impressive anyway I hope you enjoyed this kind of makeshift video i didn't really want to let all this stuff go to waste because there was some reasonably cool video clips and some decent photos in there so i thought i'd kind of frankenstein this together and hopefully it turned out okay hopefully you guys enjoyed it other than that i will catch you next week for another video hope everyone is doing well staying healthy and having fun out there guys thanks for tuning in to this video i'll catch you next week peace just want to end things by thanking today's sponsor which is artlist Artlist is the go-to spot for royalty-free music and sound effects. I've been using Artlist for over a year and absolutely love it. They also have recently introduced a new personal plan that is geared more towards social media creators. At only 10 bucks a month and with access to the full music and sound effects library, the personal plan is perfect for anybody who makes videos for platforms like YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and Snapchat. If you need music and sound effects for paid ads, client work, commercial videos, podcasts, wedding videos, or websites, then the unlimited plan has you covered for 16 bucks a month. This plan will also cover multiple channels on the same social media platform. The music library is huge and new songs are being added daily. I particularly like the search tools as it allows me to be as broad or as specific as I want to be when looking for new music. You can search by genre, mood, theme, or instrument, and then further specify your search by sorting by release date, vocals or instruments, tempo, duration, and more. It has been a huge game changer for me to have access to a vast library of quality royalty-free music that doesn't suck. So thank you Artlist for providing this incredible tool for creators 
If you want to sign up for Artlist, check the link in the description to get a bonus two months for free.